guys, Chris A.K. Beast Mode 718 coming at you from the Quad Trap. No NYC in the Quad Trap Singing Consultant. So, today, going out to, man, we're in the sticks. We are in the sticks. We're somewhere in Pennsylvania, going to York, PA, and um, we're meeting up with Cam's Kicks. Um, this was something that we were supposed to do um, probably a month, month and a half ago, two months, or something like that. And we were supposed to meet up with him. It was a kid that, if you don't know Cam's Kicks, check out his YouTube. He has a shop out in York, PA. Not familiar with the area or anything like that, but his, uh, his style and his way of kind of, you know, running a sneaker business kind of intrigued me and my cousin. And we wanted to go out there and do an interview with him. Since then, the kid has blown up. He has... I don't know, maybe 60, 70,000 subscribers on YouTube. And it was something like, you know, me and my cousin could relate to because we want to eventually open up our own store and do it like that too. So, we're coming out here. We just left Queens a couple of hours ago. I am struggling to navigate out here. Uh, very difficult, even though there's only a couple exits. You miss an exit and... Huh, I expected the Rocky Mountains to be a little rockier than this. I was thinking the same thing. That John Denver's full of shit, man. Whatever. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna interview him, ask him a whole bunch of questions, kind of just get the rundown of how he's doing with this business being you know, blown up so fast. He's a young kid. We definitely brought it to some heat to, to get to him too, see if he's interested in you know any transactions with us too. And uh, we're curious to see what he's got. So my cousin's gonna be doing the interview. I'm gonna be in the background and we're gonna do it like that. But uh, I guess we'll see you at the interview at Cam's Kicks store. So, as of right now, we have all this stuff that we have over here. We are right now currently at Camp's Kicks. We finally made it here. Um, it took about three and a half hours, honestly, to get here. And we got lost along the way. A lot of crazy shit happened. But we're finally here. And uh, we got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of heat to bring to him. We're going to bring this stuff in and we'll uh, show you exactly what goes down. We might make a couple of trades, sell a few things. But we got a lot of goodies for, uh, for Camp. So uh, we'll check you inside. Yeah. Which one's 
Resonate. Uh, this one, oh, so this, this is your This is a uh, Brazilian exclusive. Got it. Yeah. All right, nice meeting you. Thank you very much. Uh, time and life. Yes, sir. Very nice. I'll focus it off. Just double check the Oh, never Same on this one, the size is just nice. Yeah. That's the size we have. Yeah, it's the size of the one. Yeah. Oh, strange clubs? Nice. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, I picked them up that day. We went to the flight club. Wow. And yeah. I was looking to pick one up, and they were like, they were selling that day for like 800. They were like, just get on stock. It was a regular pair of Wow. I just think I remember this thing on my tiny new feel of quality. Yeah. It's kind of like the Christmas, you saw the Christmas ones that just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are supposed to be pretty good quality. Oh, right. I don't know if they're as good as they are. No. Like the velvet, like it's not like the velvet. Let me look at the movies, because you yeah. know what movie market it is. Yeah. And you can care about the stuff or not. I'm going to get split them the first day. It's a nice day. How much do you want, though? I know uh, they're out there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, let me see when they're at. What? That's an eight and a half or an eight? Eight and a half. Yeah, I want the uh, Right now. Oh, uh, what do you think? 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 What do how much do you want to leave the legislature? What do you think, man? I'll leave, bro. Oh, it's good. You got the work out, bro. Yeah. Work out. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's late. I could do like 100. That's the most. I would take the stuff. Yeah, it's okay. How much money is worth it? So. These are, yeah, I don't know if you're interested, these are yeah, actually, yeah, okay, these were, just so you know, I've seen them, I haven't seen them, yeah, I don't know. These were round five, like this first. Oh, that was so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know what it's much. I understand, it's absolutely right here. You can just put it on. Okay. What is that? Two, two, three, four, four, three, four, 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 Yeah, no problem. Cool. You got your yeah. tea? Awesome. Traded it up for the uh, Supreme <laughs> Tea? Supreme yeah. Tea Cam Kicks. Hey, it's a, it's a deal, man. All right, guys, so I'm here with Cam Kicks. How you doing, man? Good, man. What's Good. going on? So we just did a huge uh, a huge trade with Cam and everything, so we'll, yeah. get, we'll show you all that stuff when we get a chance. But I did want to ask you a couple of questions. What uh, model of brand sneaker it got you hooked into like the culture? Uh, Jordan, so I actually started with some Jordan flights, believe it or not. <laughs> Jordan flights, I remember those in high school. They yeah. Were, we, 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 like, we, we used to make fun of people like that, because like, yeah. but then again, I started off the same way. I started off when my dad bought me a pair oh, nice. of like um, Carmelo Anthony's, and it was, I, mm -hmm. I got clowned on in school, I remember about it. Yeah, and so did I, because my friend actually walked to the bus stop one day, it was in uh, eighth grade. And he had a pair of Jordan flights on, and I thought they were like the coolest thing ever. That's what <laughs> I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's so then exactly. I, I actually went home on eBay that night and was looking for the cheapest pair I could find because I was just a kid. I didn't have any money. So yeah, I, rem I remember it. I remember being clowned, and I, I wore those shoes every day. And then I remember yeah. kids telling me about, uh, like, oh, I can't wait till the 13s would come out. And I'd be like, yeah, I can't wait till the 35s <laughs> would come out. And yeah. I had no idea exactly. what just I was talking about. Up, yeah, right? just making yeah. stuff up because <laughs> I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be cool and part of the culture. Another thing I wanted to ask was, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? And has it been overwhelming with all the success you've had so far in such a short amount of time? Yeah, so I've actually done YouTube like on and off for years now. Like I actually like re-uploaded some of my old videos from like three yeah. years ago. Okay, yeah, cool. Because I had them on private. I just made them on public again because I did like a small like reaction video to them a few months ago. I just started taking it serious about I think six or seven months ago. And it's just always been a passion of mine, like creating videos, stuff like that. I've just love doing it and now it's great that it's finally 
taken off and it definitely is overwhelming. I'm trying yeah. to get a full-time editor now so that I, I don't have to worry about that aspect and I can just focus on making content. Yeah, for sure. It, it's amazing how, like, and like we've said in one of our videos, mm -hmm. it's amazing how far you've come from like taking it seriously to like up and even till maybe, maybe two months ago. You yeah. Like got in. Well, that's when I opened news. the store was a couple months ago. And yeah, that's what so. kind of did it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's, that's what really started taking off is after I opened the store. So it's great. It's, it's awesome. It's like, it's so cool. Like you're 18 and it's like you have. I'm actually 19 now. Oh, you're 19? Yeah, oh, yeah, when was your birthday? November. Yeah. Oh, cool. Happy yeah. belated. Which YouTubers did you watch while you were, while you were like coming up and get the idea to, to film exactly how you film? Yeah, so I mean, I had heard about round two, like a lot of people at first were saying that I was copying their videos, but I saw there was almost like a market that needed to be filled because they hadn't been making videos at all, like in a long time. I forget the exact amount of time. So I was inspired by them a little bit. Um, cool kicks too, kind of. Um, but I wanted to kind of do something different just to show like my everyday interactions because I was already filming like, I would do like sneaker meetups and stuff when I was like first buying inventory locally to try to, like get some connections and stuff. Uh, so I would film those. Uh, and then also I would film, film like my everyday life, like just being a sneaker reseller from home. So I just wanted to show like the growth, like branching off into getting my own store. And you've, you've, come, you've come a long way. Like it's, like I said, I, it's still like unbelievable sometimes. Like you're, you're 19 and you have like all this. It's, yeah, thanks man. Yeah. I'm 29 and I don't even have half this. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> so, you. you know, it is what it is. What, what made you want to open the store too? What was it that really what made you want to do this? Did, and mm -hmm. like, were you going for, were you in college or were you trying to go for college before this or? No, so my whole life I've pretty much been an entrepreneur. Like I would do things as kids like uh, lemonade stands or I actually played the drums too. So I would like go downtown and like play drums on buckets oh, and wow. stuff like that. Yeah. Fun fact about Cam, did not know that. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, I, I've never been like a fan of school. Like I. I never liked it. Um, I like it. And I always wanted to just like open my own business or something. And so I've been reselling for three years. Uh, always wanted my own store because I got tired of just like sitting at home all day doing it online. So I wanted something like bigger, like that I could do in person and stuff more. So that's great. That's yeah. I, w I wish I, I wish I would have done that when I was younger. That would have would have saved me a lot of time of what yeah. I was doing. What advice do you have to anyone wanting to open up a store right now, even during this pandemic? I would just say to anyone like you can do anything through like hard work and consistency like as long as you keep like working at it and um, just being consistent like I think you can pretty much reach anything so I would say start off with like buying pairs from like Facebook marketplace locally and um, even selling on there too just to like kind of gain some connections see what your city's like and then maybe keep growing that and from there eventually open a store I would say. Now another, did you ever, when you were, when you were making YouTube videos, did you ever post like your YouTube videos to like the Facebook marketplace and everything? Cause I know it's something we do with our videos. Some people get pretty mad about it because they don't like that we do it. Did yeah. you ever do that? Did you ever like advertise? No. So when I first opened the store, I didn't post anything about YouTube, but I um, was posting like that the store's open and I'm buying, trying to post like the store and stuff so that people would come in here to buy and then now people just like YouTube's the greatest way to oh, advertise yeah. it because now yeah. I, I pretty much get paid to advertise so it's, it's great. great. So where do you see yourself and your business five years from now? Where do you want to go eventually? Do you, and we were talking about this actually on the way here, me and my cousin, do you eventually want to try to bring a store to New York or do you feel like that market is just completely flooded or would you rather stay around the Pennsylvania area or maybe possibly the New Jersey area? Yeah, so I'm not really sure. I have an 18 month lease on this place. So after that, I just want to kind of see where it takes me. Obviously, I hope to just keep going up and eventually do want to branch into like other locations. I'm not exactly sure where yet. I would just kind of see where it takes me. But maybe I would definitely think about staying in the north because that's where the main market is for the most part. Um, so New York, New Jersey, maybe anything around there, maybe even like Delaware, who knows? Really? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I definitely think with the way your growth is and you have, you've been in how long in this place? Two months? Two months, yeah, it's crazy. Two months, you got 16 months to go and you've gained almost 70,000 subscribers <laughs> and a ton of people yeah. coming from everywhere. I think you're gonna need a bigger place. Yeah, eventually. most definitely. Yeah. I've already like a lot of times like when I've, because at one point I had like 350 pairs like not that long ago and I was like running out of space. So, but once I have like a ton of inventory, a lot of time I'll do like bulk deals to try to like sell a lot of it. Yeah, so we see a lot that's of that. And you give out, you give like, what's cool is you give like a lot of profit margin for the people to make. It's just yeah. a matter of like, 
you have to be willing to put in the work. Exactly, they, yeah. Now, do you clean up your shoes or did he just, you just so, throw them on the shelves? How no, so I, every pair is clean that's worn before uh, being put on the shelves. Like, I have been paying my sister to clean it, but now I might be paying like an employee to clean them. But really? It's getting, it's getting that crazy. Yeah, just so many pairs cleaning that is awesome. every day. So. That is great. Thanks, man, yeah. Do you, do you by any chance bot? Do you do, no. you, you're not part of like <laughs> No, so I mean, all the inventory I get right now is just from customers that uh, bring it in and sell it to me, so. Yeah, I don't know anything yeah. about bots. I've never used them before. No, so. you never tried or anything? No. no. How do you- it Just it seems complicated to me, I don't know. Yeah, what do you think about Supreme being sold off? Concerning, I see you always constantly, you are always in Supreme. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about them being like sold off? Yeah, I think it's crazy. I think it, that it's definitely gonna affect the market. Like you can already see it like, Box logos going for like two, three hundred now. Like they used to all go for like over a thousand, and yeah, the, all the prices are dropping. So I think that definitely plays a factor in that as well. Yeah, it's it's insane. Like I remember, I remember like camping out for Supreme, and yeah, like it was it used to be a challenge to get it, but it used uh -huh. to be fun. But now, now it's, it's not, just yeah. like I've never camped out for Supreme, but I camped out for like a lot of Jordan ones, like the 2017 Royal ones. That was the first shoe I ever camped out yeah. for. Um, the court purples, the pine green ones, like all they those. They still do that up here? Like you're still able to camp? I know no, you, I you being have a business. Yeah, right I haven't done it in a, a, probably a year, a couple years now maybe. What advice do you have for anyone wanting to get into like reselling? Like where yeah. do they start? Like, you know, and obviously you need a job or you could mm -hmm. possibly borrow some of your parents' money. Like that's how I got started honestly when I was like 16. Okay. I didn't, you know, I didn't really, I didn't have the money. So I had to borrow money and then I eventually paid them back. Yeah, I mean, I kind of went over it a little bit earlier. I would say like start with Facebook Marketplace, try to build some connections there. But if it's like square one, you don't have any money. I, I actually worked at Chick-fil-A for a year. Um, Chick-fil-A is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that was the only job I ever had. Um, saved up money from there. And I was buying like pairs for my personal sneaker collection, like all the new releases and stuff like Jordan releases. And I eventually sold my collection. It wasn't like anything crazy, maybe I don't remember the exact amount. It was anywhere from like one to 3,000. I sold it all on GOAT, and then I used that money to start reselling. Like I would go to the Nike outlet and then um, like buy yeah. pairs cheap from there, sell it on GOAT, StockX, and then also graduated to use pairs on Facebook Marketplace. So that's yeah. kind of where I started, but. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the move. That's yeah. exactly the move. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. the move. And you just you just constantly reinvested, like. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of, so you probably stayed away from like personal pairs because you wanted to build as much capital as you possibly could. Exactly. Yeah. Just more recently, I started like collecting a little bit more now, but I'd still try to reinvest most everything. So. What is your collection at right now of shoes? Uh, it's nothing crazy. Probably like twenty pairs. I don't know. What do you think about like the the whole sneaker culture as like as a whole, and like where do you think do you think it's gonna get? harder and harder to get shoes down the line saying like five years from now or yeah we, or possibly because i feel like just more and more people are joining it um just seeing like the last dance documentary on michael jordan that like uh sparked a lot of new sneaker heads a lot of old ones came back so i mean just stuff like that can keep um changing the market pretty much so yeah i feel the same way i, th I think it's just gonna get harder like yeah with the yeezys especially i feel like yeezys have gotten like kind of watered yeah, down they're it's, they're dead now <laughs> yeah they're like dead. a lot of pairs just go for retail now some even under retail like all the 380s, 380s. are terrible yeah I think it's an ugly model anyway i, yeah, I don't I'm like them at fan. all what's the next move for camp kicks from here considering the way your growth has been like again, you've been blowing yeah. up on YouTube and your store's obviously getting busier. You're buying tons of shoes every day, selling tons of shoes every day. What's like your next move? Yeah, cause I do kind of have a couple employees now. So hopefully they're gonna be helping me with some of like the, what is it called? Like groundwork, I wanna say? Yeah. Yes, something like that. So I really wanna focus on like my YouTube content and just keep building that and see where it takes me pretty much. Yeah, so. totally. Yeah, you're. I can't I can't wait to see. I'm like I'm like excited about I can't wait to see where you are in like 16 months or even like 6 months from now to yeah, see thanks, man. Yeah. where where you are and how you just expand mm -hmm. out. So the last question is I know you you said you just got security. Are your security measures in place to deal with aggressive customers that you have been dealing with? Yeah, so I mean I have five security cameras. My GoPro is pretty much always rolling mm -hmm. as well. And a lot of people don't know it, but there's literally a police station like within walking distance, what is like right around the corner. And then I, like I said, I have security now, so. I also do carry uh, this on me, but I mean, it's, yeah, I, we don't have to talk about oh, that. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> Dude, yo, this is exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Cam, I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you Yeah, thanks so much. much. Yeah, really interview. appreciate you guys coming out. Love doing business. Love uh, the interview and everything. You guys are cool guys, yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Make sure if you guys haven't, if you guys have been living under a rock, make sure to follow <laughs> Cam Kicks on Instagram and on yeah. YouTube and everything. And uh, yeah, continue to watch his videos because he comes up with really, really great content. Thanks, man. Yeah. So until the next time, we'll see you guys. Yeah, peace out, peace. guys. So what's going on guys? So we just got back to New York, you know, a great, great trip, a great experience over at Cam's Kicks. Um, again, appreciate you bro, letting us go in there, film, do the interview with you, give you a bunch of shoes to trade up for. And uh, yeah, this is what we got. We got a bunch of stuff. My pairs are actually still down in the car, but I'll go over quickly of what I got. I got a pair of, I think it was six and a half women tie dyes a pair of uh, smoke gray and then i got a uh, metallic gold um, og high uh, jordan one all those were brand new dead stock i believe you know i traded two pairs of U shoes and a pair of dead stock sneakers and i was able to grab those and i was extremely happy because the couple of the shoes that i had i i just i just wanted to get rid of them they weren't really doing much so i was like you know what let me see if Cam Kick will take them, and he did, so I appreciate you, brother. So, this is what my cousin got. These are his shoes. He's got seven pairs of Air Jordan 1s. He traded in a mixture of dead stock and used sneakers to obtain these pairs. So, we're just gonna go over briefly of what he got. So, the first pair he got was a pair of, um, of the Black Toe Satin 1s. Super nice, dead stock condition. These are a size nine and a half. These are really dope. I don't know why these aren't going for more money. Again, I think it's just, we've touched bases on it. It's just because I think it's a women's. This is a shoe that we had before. We actually had a couple of pairs of them when we were at um, one of our first sneaker shows. The Fearless, the Patent Leathers, the UNC's and Chicago's, super dope. These are awesome. We got these. And his store credit, I believe, was $2,270, so. This is what he was able to obtain. And I'll give you a breakdown. So that was a size, this right here was a size nine and a half in women's. This is a size nine and a half in men's. And again, all these are dead stock. This is a pair of the snakeskins. These are a size eight and a half in women. Then we got a pair of, this is a very, really cool pair. This is a pair of dead stock obsidians. This is probably my cousin's favorite Air Jordan one that's ever came out. Size seven and a half. Look up your prices before you guys start passing judgment, because uh, there's no going to be people that are going to be like, damn, it's, you know, the shoes. Look at the sizes and look up the prices for what they're going on StockX. Look up that seven and a half. You'll be surprised. And then right here, I'm not really going to go through it too much, we, but I will show you. We have three pairs, because we talked about these, and we said these would be a good investment. The Air Jordan 1 High OG in grade school the black metallics and we got these we got two sixes and two sevens i have one of the sevens he's got two sixes and a seven and yeah uh so we got a bunch of pairs of these now and i was really really happy to grab these because if you look on StockX, they're starting to rise and they're rising very quickly again we talked about how these shoes were really really undervalued and it's starting to come to life so it's great so this is just our pickup from cam's kick sneaker shop Again, appreciate you, Cam, letting us go in there and film, kick it with you guys for a little bit, meeting everybody it was really a great experience. Something I won't ever forget. The round trip was about seven hours round trip, so it was definitely a hike there, but it was definitely worth it, and I couldn't be happier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification button, hit that subscribe button, so you're notified when we come out with new content like this. And until next time, guys, we'll see you. Peace. So just explain what happened. Bro, I'm going through some things right now. I don't even know where I'm going next, bro. What? B! 6B! Yo, I'm fucking good, bro. We're coming. We're almost there. Um, but I did want to ask you a couple of questions about your store. And um, so just pretty much tell me a little more about yourself. Yeah, uh, what do you want to know? Uh, just pretty much um, where your name, like, um, damn it. 